everyone. My name is Dr. Jermanuel Landfair with the Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay. I am a hip and knee replacement specialist and also focus on complex hip and knee replacement as well as revision hip and knee replacement surgery. Today, I'd like to talk with you about what we look for when we are evaluating an x-ray of your hip to determine if you may be a candidate for a hip replacement. The first thing we look for is joint space narrowing. On this x-ray, you can see that there is no more joint space and the bones are directly in contact with each other. This is what we call bone-on-bone -bone osteoarthritis. The next thing we look for is subchondral sclerosis. This is the dense white bone that forms when you unfortunately develop bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. The next thing we look for are osteophytes, also known as bone spurs, which we can see on the x-ray that characteristically look like small spikes of bone on the upper and lower edges of the hip socket. We also look for some chondral cyst formation. This is when joint fluid forces itself between cracks in the bone and form these small pits in the weight-bearing surface of the bone, which is also a, a hallmark of osteoarthritis. When you develop severe hip osteoarthritis as seen on this x-ray, you may be a candidate for total hip replacement surgery. If you are interested in learning more about hip replacement surgery, we encourage you to schedule an appointment with our office to discuss your treatment option. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to caring for you soon and helping you get back to an active lifestyle.